Once you hear that guitar playing, the man is in the building representing. How are you doing, my brother? It's nice to see you all the time, man. Yeah, nice to see you too, brother. <laughs> it's a pleasure it's to see you. Meet you know, I feel good, no? When you come, you feel good? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel good when I see you too, man. It's just a nice, nice anointing with the children of God. And, yeah, so and, true. You know, Jesus is Lord, man. All the time. He's Lord. It's great to be in Jesus. Yes, brother. No doubt about it. When you have Jesus, you have everything. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. you know, you know, sometimes people talk and they think, you know, it's just a talk. Like, you know, people just say it like that. It is not but just if a you're talk. experiencing it, it's not the talk. Brother, it is reality. When you have Jesus, you've got everything. There's ah. always a joy bubbling inside. You always feel like shouting. You always feel like, hey, hallelujah. You always feel like, <laughs> no, hey, because you know who is living inside of you. Hallelujah. So, so, so now you, you, you're saying this. How can somebody experience that outside? What would you, I mean, just, just off the top of your head. If somebody say, because I know that sometimes people listen to the radio or they hear other people and they feel, well, mm. why I'm not, why I'm not experiencing what they're talking about? How come I don't feel that way about Jesus? How come I, I mean, I believe Jesus is whatever, but how come I don't feel the same way? The thing is, um, people have to experience who Jesus is by just listen and obey mm -hmm. but you know this world right now we are living it's totally a disobedient world Gener generation like a generation of disobedience but when you hear the word of christ and you know god is the one that gives you the breath of life he that waking you up in the morning he that putting you to sleep he that giving you everything you have the strength to walk to talk is the power of god to drink water, to eat. Whatever you've been doing is the power of God. If God take that from you, you are dead. When you have to think about God is reality, the whole system that you've got belongs to God. And you address yourself and you obey that man. God will come to a reality in your life. And when you get to understand these things and know that he is, whenever you can't go wrong. Think about it. You just feel like screaming. You just feel like shouting because God is the reality of every human being in this world. Hallelujah. But they cannot see it without obeying. Obeying Him. My goodness. What a what a what a what a serious, powerful, and potent talk. And that's why <laughs> this morning I, I made that statement. A lot of people have that perception that coming to Christ is like you're giving up the world mm -hmm. for something. But when you come to Christ, you don't need the world. You don't need the You world. realize there wasn't really nothing over there in the first place. Mm -hmm. But the devil making you believe that there is something to lose and there is something to miss. But there is nothing to miss. Nothing to miss. T talk to me about that for real. When you have Christ, brother, you have everything. Remember Christ said, what the wicked have out there belongs to his children. You might see all these big people with everything they have in this world. They think they are tough. They think they are big. But that belongs to them. That belongs to you and I that are in Christ. Hallelujah. That's what he says. And that's the truth. And they cannot deny it. You and I that are hustling out there trying to do everything for us to live. We have a joy. And that joy stay with us. Always laughing. Always feel good in our soul. But these people that have everything, they are miserable in their life. They cannot sleep. They don't have a peace of mind. They don't have nothing like that. But you and I, brother, anytime somebody sees us, we always rejoicing, we always laughing, we always, I like the joy of the Lord is our strength. We glorify God everywhere we are in this earth. This is enough to make people know that God is alive and well. Hallelujah. <laughs> The man is in the building. 22 minutes past the 2 o'clock. Brother Emro. Listen what he's saying here. As we get ready for his concert coming up. Listen this. When God looked down from heaven and saw the whole human race as going astray. Poor fire, poor fire, poor fire. Hey. 
Oh my God. <laughs> my brother, Jesus is Lord to the glory of, of God. God. Yeah, Lord to the glory of God. My goodness, if you anchor yourself in Jesus, trust me, nobody could make you feel dumb. No, nobody, no, nobody in the nobody. world could make you feel less. You nobody, man, brother. If we use Jesus the right way, my brother. I tell if you. If we use Jesus the right way. My goodness. Mm. Brother, let me tell you something. If we ever take Jesus the way Jesus wants us to take him, when you're walking down the road, you know what's happening? The Holy Ghost just grab people like that. Like when you you just passing and there's a magnet that is just pulling people to you. That's what God's going to do. But because they have so much distraction around us, you know, like our mind not focusing the way we are supposed to focus on God. I mean, so many different things, so many, you know, so many and side shows. So many side. Oh, you, you, you hear me? Oh my God! All what we have to do: keep our eyes on Jesus and do the right thing. Live for do him. Do the right M- thing. Meditate on him. The right thing is to focus and live right and do the right thing. Testify. Tell no matter what, what people say to you. He says, "Fear no man that have power to kill the body, and after that, he have no body that he can do." But I will warn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he has killed, he had power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him which is God himself. And if we fear God and we do what he says to do, God will just bring all those that are his in to the king. <laughs> hey bro, 23 minutes. <laughs> Choice radio man, keep it locked right here. Yeah. Let's enjoy this one. Hmm. Hallelujah. Glory. When My Lord. Mm, how sweet the song that saved a wretch, a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. I once was blind, but now I can see. Amazing grace, how sweet the song that saved a wretch. A wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. I once was blind, but now I can see. Oh, oh. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, my brother, let me tell you, so much joy in the Lord, my brother. I'm telling you, man, it's so much joy in the Lord. And, and, and. We, we, you know, tell you honestly, we need people to get it, yeah, and and see the secret that is hidden mm-hmm. in staying entangled with Jesus. And, and you know, I realize a lot of people know is watering down the the, the, the the Jesus thing. You see, once you water down Jesus, you can't get no result. You can't get no result because that is the flesh. Mm-hmm. The spirit of God is what does all transformation. That's what right. does That's all right. transition. And anytime we go away from Jesus and flesh is just operating, mm-hmm. we can't get nothing done. Nothing done. 
nothing done we no. must stay in jesus that's right definitely if we follow the world and the world system we get in the flesh yeah, you know the definitely. flesh have to work hard mm -hmm. The flesh have to work harder. Suffer, 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 the Lord. flesh will suffer. Yeah, definitely. It's only the spirit of God could accomplish anything in definitely, life. We bro. must stay in the spirit. It's in the spirit. Yes, stay with Jesus. That is what He has laid down for us. You know what I mean? So, um, my brother, you here because you you getting ready to to. That's it. That's your first concert, right? Yeah, that's yeah. I'm I can't believe that a man like you been around for so long. That's your no. First. That's not the first concert. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the fourth one. Oh, your fourth cons. All right, so I'm misinformed. So when is this going on and what's going on? And give us the information. Give us you and your beautiful wife is there. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's, what's going on, the man, brother. Well, you know, is getting ready. tell you the truth. The information is right inside that letter there. It's, it's right. The information is right here. But yeah. we, we're, we're getting ready to launch up. Yeah. Getting ready to launch that To concept. launch indeed. Mm -hmm. Brother M. Mm -hmm. Gospel Explosion. Mm -hmm. May. Mm -hmm. May the... Two, two, uh, well, I don't see the date. The date is not there. Where's mm -hmm. the date? Okay, May the third. All right, May the third, seven p.m. at the Grace Gospel Light, four eighty-eight Rockaway between Pitkin and Sutter Avenue. Well, we're gonna be giving them much more information. But if you're out there right now, you could probably write this down. May the third. Write that. Just write a big, take a big chalk and just mark it on your wall in your house. You don't want to forget that date. Mm -hmm. May the third, because I know it's going to be something else, and that's going to be live band. Live band. Hallelujah, life Jesus. Band. That is what I don't like tracks, man. Yeah. That's joke, man. Life I like band. to hear live guitar, man. Life. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, make yes. guitar cry. Yeah, make guitar. <laughs> <laughs> like, like on the boat, right? Yeah, man. You hit me, right? My goodness, mm, man. That I'll is. on the boat, my amp was too small. But, but right a, now, I have a. You brother. have a massive amplifier oh, now. My, my goodness. So, I don't want that to happen to me again at all. No instrument to block my song. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so all right. So, so guys, I mean, and um, all right. So, 488 Rockaway Avenue, Pitkin and Sutter Avenue. Only oh, write that down. Write that down. We definitely gonna go out and support the man, brother Emro, and um, full of gospel, Western music too. Yeah. And um, May the third. So May the third and and um, 7 p.m. All right. So Grace gospel uh, we have uh, the, the, the ticket here grace gospel all right so for further information who they're gonna they're gonna contact for 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 tickets 347 297 0671 write that down 347 297 0671 we have a caller on the line i wonder what the caller you want to take the caller yeah all right let's take the caller caller good, good evening praise the lord you can hear me yes we can hear you alive with brother emro <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying share the wealth. I'm on the receiving end. Share that wealth. I'm listening to you all just enjoying yourself in the Lord and say amazing grace. That song really touched, you know, my heart. And I want to say to Brother Emerald, I'm, I'm enjoying. It's, it's wonderful to know the artists out there that truly is led by the Lord to let God use them. Because, you know, we have so many music you hear out there and the person behind it, they're not living the life. Uh, you know, and it's just out there, and I'm so grateful to God because, as I say, it's hard for me, as I always say, double O, to get your station, but when I do get it, I like my input. You know, I love the Lord. This morning, I didn't hear what the whole topic was, but from the receiving end and from what you were talking about, you know, the joy of serving the Lord, because when you make up, have a made-up mind to serve God, you don't care about what the world you know, what you left behind, you know, because you cannot be double-minded. When, no. when the Lord touch you, it's a, re a personal, you know, an intimate relationship to get to, getting to know God for yourself. And that's how you know how God is real, not through somebody else or what, you know, a ritual thing going around or whatever, to truly know God for yourself. And I admire your, you know, the artist in them, Brother Emerald. Yes, I sister. admire man of God who stand upon the word of God. They do not compromise. Hallelujah. Praise Declare God. his name. Hey, glory to God. Bless Declare God, sister. Bless him. him. Bless him. Bless in him. In whatever way God give you a talent. Use it he for him. He give you that talent to use it for him. That's right. You know, declare it, hallelujah, don't stop, my hallelujah, God. because that's what the vision God put in my spirit, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm hitting and I say, Lord, use me unto your glory. And then I say, I have, you know, use um, the broadcast for BCAT, but I'm looking for God to give me more vision to how to spread his word, because there's too much nonsense going on around us today. There's too much compromising, hallelujah. Mm. Yes. People are not 
faithful, short. The Lord is coming back for his church. Mm -hmm. He's coming back, you know, for his bride. Yeah. Hallelujah. And that bride got to prepare Prepare. herself. Prepare. 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 You know, prepare. prepare. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You don't know when that bride will come in. You got to prepare. You know, not wait in last minute and say, oh, let me go. No. Mm. You know, and we cannot be compromising with the world. You know, you are a child of God. You got to take a stand. Yes, Hallelujah. that is true, and, sister. And that I, is true. I thank you for calling and sharing that phone call there. And like I said, it, walking with God is a personal thing that when you yes. have discovered Christ, mm -hmm. you don't need to try to dilute Christ mm -hmm. to please no. anybody. And no. this is what I realize going on. And that's why we're encouraging the saints of God who are called to continue to stand with Jesus. Because that's right. Know, and you see what happened again. I'm, I'm hearing so many different con conversations of different elements that are going on in the, in the community or in society that people say, mm -hmm. well, whatever. But many people are using flesh to try to yeah. build up the kingdom of God. And if yeah. God call you in the kingdom, mm -hmm. you don't mm -hmm. have to use nothing else but Jesus. Because That's he right. is the one that has the power to draw exactly. people or to draw support or finance or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you stay with Jesus, Jesus has the power to draw everything to you. That's but right. People, That's want the key to, point. people want to do things in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And when they're not getting support and they're not seeing things going the way, then mm -hmm. they want to use their flesh now to, to, to beat the people over their head and do all <laughs> kind of thing for the people. No. If you just keep using using Jesus, Jesus mm -hmm. have the power to make their pocket open that ma and make their hand feel free to give mm -hmm. to the ministry and do, if you stay with Jesus, Jesus mm -hmm. have the power to do everything. So if you go away from Jesus, you would not see the benefit because then no, the flesh not. is trying no, to not. operate in the flesh to do only what the flesh can do. And Listen, the power when of it, God when is what? Mm -hmm. double o, God know the true intent of our heart. Yes, that's right. We can't hide from he him at all. He knows the true intent of our heart behind everything that we do. Mm -hmm. So you, cannot, you may try to fool man, you know, but you can't fool him. You can't fool God. And you, you can't fool man either. <laughs> you <laughs> can't fool you. man either. I mean, those, those who, who perform or whatever, who don't truly know mm -hmm. who he is. Because when you truly know who he is, he will give you the spiritual eyesight to open to see. Mm -hmm. The spiritual discernment to see the things that are of him and the, what is not. Once you walk in the spirit. There you go. Amen. Yeah, so we need this. You know, God and bless. I want to share this with you too because I heard you were talking over the time about certain things. But something really hit me. And it's from listening because I, I was witnessing to somebody and I told him, I say, I pray that you, you know, because I knew their feeling, in, you know, about the Holy Ghost and what, you know, the feel they figure once they got saved, they got the Holy Ghost. And I say, well, you got to, is, there's two baptisms there's water baptism and spiritual baptism. But when I heard the true insight to what that teaching was, it shocked me. And that's what awakened me to say, Lord, I got to get, you know, get your word out there to share it, you know, so people know. Because I understood behind this, I didn't, I didn't understand that they, that they figure they don't have a body, soul, or spirit. They only have a body, and when it die, it decay in the earth. That was shocking to me. When, you know, I, when I really tried to talk to the person to find out what's behind, you know, their motive about denying the Holy Spirit and figure so I say, how you know, you, you know, you have the Holy Ghost. How do you know? What's the experience? I, it's a feel good. I feel good. So I say, what will happen to when you don't feel good? There are many days I have the Holy <coughs> Spirit, but there may, sometimes are the days I don't feel, you know, and I have to pray myself, you know. <laughs> but I'm saying, what happened to that? But when I found out the teaching behind that, that they, they figured that um, the, the rapture, when the rapture come, you know, um, everybody going to be died. There's nobody on the earth left. You know, and different teaching like that. Double O, keep on proclaiming the name of the Lord. God give you this station. L don't compromise. Do not compromise. Pier not. We need to be grounded in Jesus. We know who saved us. We know Jesus is the one who Pier changes not. our life. And, and that's really what it's about. But um, something that you were mentioning about the, the, in, in terms of the spirit and the, the flesh and the this and that and that. Many mm -hmm. times um, people operating and feel that. It's the Holy Spirit. Let me say this to mm -hmm. you. Let me be very clear. Mm -hmm. The fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, so, meekness, and all these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And people operating in all kind of how and claiming to talk about Holy Spirit. If right. there is a Holy Spirit, there is also an unholy spirit. Mm -hmm. So when there is strife mm -hmm. and all these things going on, and you people jumping That's around talking him. about their spirit, right. that is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit That's do not, not function in mm -hmm. those kind of environments. So we g no, the Holy company. Spirit that hallelujah because there is a mm. holy and there is an unholy spirit that's right and mm. people who live in unholy cannot experience the holy spirit no because no, the holy can. spirit will only no, manifest in a holy vessel that's and that right. is mm -hmm. the reality of the gospel yeah. of jesus christ i remember um i think it was last week 
So only last week I was I walk into the house and as I walk in, the spirit just like just put well it happens to me all the time. Like you just create a vacuum inside of me and just say something inside of me. Like just say something like into my spirit. And he just mm -hmm. said, Holy Spirit. And I just mm -hmm. thought about it. Well, yeah, if there is a Holy Spirit, then there is an unholy spirit. Yep. So yep. many times people jumping around and whatever, whatever. That's not Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be and, Holy Spirit. And the spirit of discernment will let you know because the point is that's why we have the Holy Ghost in us. That's right. And you can see, you can acknowledge, just, just by you as a child of God, you can acknowledge. Somebody just come before you and you can acknowledge. You know, because that spirit of discernment is in you to acknowledge mm -hmm. what is of God and what is not of His. And one of the things the Lord say, where fear is concerned, you know, fear is not of God. No. You know, God is of love. You know, Power. and He said, perfect and love casts cast out of, all yes. fear. Yes. You know, and you would recognize, you know, that spirit. We have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of, of love and of a song of mind. You know, and children of God need to hold on to those things, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I want to take up your whole time, but I just want to say I love you all with the love of the Lord. Keep on declaring God's name. You. Take your stand. Hold on to it. Do not compromise. And guess what? We are not there to, you know, to, to say that we don't want to hurt people's feelings or whatever. Let me tell you something. And as I always say, God is God. And what he's against, his children are supposed to stand and be against it. And I always say, people who don't like what God word says, get off his earth. That's right. Plain and simple. <laughs> you're right, sister. You're you right. don't like what the word of God says. That's his word. Amen. And I'm not going to go against my father's word. So get off his earth. keep his word. And his to word God be the, the glory. Mm. Thank you, yeah, my sister. And one indeed. thing Take that care. he says. God bless. One uh -huh. thing that he says is, heaven and earth shall pass, but my word shall never pass. Amen. So whatever indeed, he says stands Indeed, forever. indeed. So my sister, we thank you for sharing that word of encouragement there. And one of the key for the body of Christ is to stay in with Jesus. That's right. Many, you know, many play places you go, they're not preaching from the Bible. They're not reading the Bible. They're not talking from the Bible. There is no power in nothing else but in Jesus yes. through his holy word. You could talk what you want. I don't care how educated you are, how bright you are, and how eloquent you can speak. If you're not speaking what is in this Bible right here, mm. you have zero power. You're operating on your own flesh. That's it. On your own gasoline. Yeah. And that gas is not going to form no transformation. Mm. Only transformation in the kingdom of Jesus Christ is from the Bible. That is it. If you're not reading the Bible, that is why there is so much carnality going on. Mm -hmm. And this morning we were talking about, you know, you have all this organization coming into the body of Christ mm -hmm. for people to get into all this mm -hmm. um, multimedia, mm -hmm. you know, selling this and mm -hmm. selling that. And even pastors trying to push this on people to mm -hmm. sell this and sell that and go around and tell people all kind of stuff to sell products. Mm -hmm. Come with the spirit of God. The that's spirit right. of God, that's all you need. You stay with Jesus and Jesus going to bring the increase that's right stay with jesus he have the power to bring the increase once you preach jesus he have the power to change lives and transform people is jesus that changed me Definitely. he's not man talking about god mm -hmm. i know man talking about god for years long time i know man talking for god about god for years but when jesus touched my heart is that what make the difference from the word of god from that's the right. bible that's right. that's so right. once you're going away from the bible you lose all power Definitely. to create any Definitely. wealth or to create any security that's right. or any any righteousness because anytime you go away from the bible you lose all the power because all the power of god is in the bible, in the bible. and many churches going away from the bible people just come with one little note say one little scripture and the rest of the time for all two hours they roll the screaming and carrying on going on with mm -hmm. their own idea yeah stay in the word of god stay in the bible that's where the power is in the bible in the brother way. emro yes man is hey. my me brother ah man, brother we there we there we there we there, we there we there give god the praise give him the and, praise and, 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 and the thing about it, you're talking about with the, with the concert thing. Mm. You see, I, I just believe in once you stay on Jesus. That's right. Somebody come in a concert, they hear you singing about the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, Jesus. Mm. You get so many people can be transformed. Yes. And just seeing a show. And yeah. somebody just come and sing some songs and mm. they have a nice voice and all that. That don't have no power. No power. What have power is the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. That's where the power lies. He saved me. Mm. He transformed my life. That's right. He's restored me. That is where the power is in Jesus. I'm telling you, brother. There is nothing else. There's no doubt about it. My goodness, I'm going back with that again. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing grace. <laughs> yeah. Amazing, Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. My it's goodness. Passing inside my body. If it's only I'm passing anybody. Hey. Amazing grace. Jesus. Where he take you from, eh? Hallelujah. Brother, I was out there in the world doing music in hotels in different places. <laughs> and I tell you, I see things already. 
when God called me, I was in Matnik one night when God called me and showed me what to do. I cried like a child. And I said to the brethren, you know, I can't continue with that band again. I have to leave that and do what God called me to do. Some of them is in St. Thomas. Some of them is in St. Martin. My uncle is in England. And I stayed in Martin for a while. And after that, when I came back down home, give Christ my life. From that day on, I continue living for Christ. I've get offers to go and play in France, in big places. Just for six months. And after that, I could just sit down and eat whatever I do. I refuse it. I get contracts to go on the boat, these big boats, to go and play. Because when somebody see me play and hear me sing, they want me. But as long as you see the thing is not for Christ, believe me, Brother Emro is not in it. Hallelujah. I ain't going there. No matter Hallelujah. wow, no matter what happened, no matter how God, I can stay without a pants, without a shirt, without food. But I ain't going there. And I know my God shall never forsake me, never leave me. He will always give me strength, power, close everything I need to continue giving praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy. You ain't going back there. No. Hallelujah. And that's what it's about, my brother. Staying Brilliant. and defending Jesus. That's right. Because what Jesus is hoping to do is, you know, bring people to him through us. Through us. And through our testimony. That's, that's testimony. what he wants. That's what. Stay with me. That's Just right. keep living like that's me. That's right. That's what God wants. I will draw them. You don't have to do nothing. Nothing. Just keep, keep, keep living the life. Up. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> I tell you, man. Get ready for this big one. It's going to be big, huge. Mm. Live band on stage. Mm. Made it up. Mm. <laughs> yes, 7 p.m. Sir. My God. This is going to be live. Mm. Live. Mm. Mm. When God looked down from heaven and saw the whole human race going astray. Compa, 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 compa. Hey, uh. yes, sir. Ayana, where you are? Ayana, and my tall friend, I can't remember her name. I know you are hearing that. Enjoy it. Concept, 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 Ayana. Made it turn, made it turn. Life, man.
man, I tell you, I get a joy whenever you come in the studio. I get a oh joy. My God, oh my God. I feel like I'm born again. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that is the energy we need from oh, the children of God, man, so to true, lift so up true, the name. So my, my brother, Jesus is so much joy in Jesus, oh my, my brother. Oh, my God, brother. Hallelujah. My brother. Mm. Oh man, why I tell you, your man does say, boy, how you could give up all this and they, they don't understand. They don't understand. That's why you're telling people, anytime you come to Christ, you don't want to come halfway. Mm. That's why you see a lot of people so shaky in the, yeah, in the body. So true, so true. You have to give up everything, everything and come, come to Christ 100%. Mm. Because when you look back in the world, you don't miss nothing. You don't miss nothing. No, you don't miss nothing. Because no, when you come to Christ, you realize this life is the real life. Brother, let me this tell life you. is the real life. So tell true. me. Brother, let me tell you something. You see, when I stand up behind my guitar singing to glorify God, and I can move myself, make the guitar cry and sing, and I know I'm singing for the King of Kings, Lords of Lords, mediator between God and man, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the great I am Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Nishi, Lord God Almighty, King of the universe. I feel I'm not in this earth. <laughs> yeah. I always tell them my, when I reach up there God going to give me a guitar with um, diamond string gold string plain glorifying goodness. even the angels will stay amazing just seeing Hallelujah. that glorify yes. God yes my brother and that is what God expects from all his children yes, who receive him to really big him up Hallelujah. yeah because God is real he's real. not like you know you, you know he's, he, and the thing about what well, you know so many people people I feel oh we talking all this stuff but we talking from what we experience, experience and yeah. every man could experience Jesus on the same, same level, level if we you put ourselves self. in it and we line up ourselves that's right and, and it's, but you see another thing too a lot of people not willing to face any tribulation and that's any trials right. you see anybody if they open a church and they feel he's not making he not, you know he not going the way they wanted to go how the regular churches in the world mm -hmm. going they get, they get discouraged and they feel they want to do now all kind of crazy thing now mm -hmm. to, to hype up the people that's right when they should just stay on jesus just because he's the one who bringing the increase yeah. for you just stay with jesus stay with if you love the lord nothing wrong if you have a couple days when things are low and whatever you're going to face tribulation so how can he see that you have your growth you have to go for some testing you must go to testing you have to go for some testing and you never know how it's going to come so you have to stay grounded, settle, establish stay in the Jesus. Faith. Yes, stay in Him. He gonna give you the increase. That's Just right. stay in Jesus, that's yeah? right. and that's what. So you see, the world has become a place now where nobody want to go to no trial no mm -hmm. more. Nobody go to no tribulation no mm -hmm. more. So even if they have to get, they ought to do whatever. They just want to look like the world. Like the they world. want to look like the world. They that's want to right. look like have a big church and have a this and have a big name and a big title. I understand some guy was telling me that some pastor have him. Um, I'm a bearers and all people have to come before them and put things on the ground for them to sit and all. I'm just thinking what is all this, oh, all, all this um, yeah, I tell you I hear some horror story already from I see I can't believe that is churches and I can't believe people who love the Lord oh, Jesus or know the word of God is having people use them like that I can't believe that I can't believe that people actually have people in that kind of way following them and going on with this kind of thing. And I was speaking to a young man he told me he was in church for about 10 years and, and they will tell them oh I know you could give that and you're going to give a hundred more and you're going to give that you join up with you and give 300 and you join up with you and i know for sure you could do that and you could do that and people sit down there for years i want to know well what bible they're reading I how you could sit down and read the word of god and sit down and allow people to abuse you like that kind of way and you <laughs> claim to be in jesus i mean that's you know and that is the shame of the gospel you know that is the shame because if you're following christ and you know the word of god you have certain things you don't have to sit down for you don't have to stand up for it once it's not the principle of god you have to make them know i know who god is me i don't care about everybody else but you see me i know, know what god stands that's right, for that's right. and this is what god wants his children to do to be separated among them that's right let them know i know what my father came for i know what my my father stand for that's right. i know my father is not supporting that kind of nonsense mm -hmm. you see when people do that those fake christian they can't get no no air to breathe they can't they can't get no water to drink no so they go they must give up they must but when they see they have a bold a multitude following them with all the craziness they're doing and people still coming back next week mm -hmm. so they're not hallelujah coming hallelujah. back they realize you joking, joking. yeah, yeah I, thought, I thought you i thought you dumb but you're dumber than me <laughs> No, no, no. Well, this is what it is. Because the, the word of God want us to, to log on to the word of God. That's right. If something doesn't line up with the Bible. A matter of fact, if you tell me something, prove to me in the scripture. That's right. Where the scripture says, I scripture. should do this and this and this. You understand me? They have pastors coming. They say, well, okay, come and bring a word. 
and they tell him what to say, what to say, and he come and saying, okay, well, the Lord said to everybody, we give $2,000. Everybody give that, everybody give that. And say, well, it's not me. You hear the prophet? Mm. Where in the Bible are you going to see that the prophet ever come and tell anybody anything to do that? Where you ever see that? So this is the thing about our people who claim to know Jesus and claim the Lord. They have people just having them like just going around in circle. And it's amazing. Brother, let me tell you something. When you hear the story, my brother Emery, I'll tell you. I talked to a partner. He told me 10 years, you know, in a place, you know. 10 <laughs> years he stayed in a place. 10 years. And that is the kind of thing that's going on. It's amazing. When we are sons of the king of kings, the all-wise God, how could we operate so unwise? Definitely. How could we operate so unwise? I don't think that I gonna do something like that at all. The moment I see that thing going straight, I'm telling you straight forward. <laughs> you know, believe me, my wife will be good. She can tell you about that. Telling you straight forward. That's not. That's not. I, I don't understand it like that. I ain't gonna do that. Straight That's forward. Me. Yeah, straight forward. Because, That's because me. your spirit must manifest with mm -hmm. things. Your spirit must line up with things that people are doing. That's right. And that's why, why one of the things is people not walking after the spirit. Yes, that's They're right. going after the flesh. That's right. If your spirit tells you something, tell them, no, my spirit is not lining up with that. Mm -hmm. I don't feel in that. Because once you're a child of God, the spirit must line up with it. Definitely. That's if you're not supposed. lining up, tell them, I'm not in it. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Bye. Mm -hmm. See you. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's a solution. That's a solution kind of Yeah, bye bye, Charlie. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's, a, it's always a pleasure having yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's nice sure. to hear you with the, the joy of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. And we just want people who want to defend Jesus. Well, that's what I have. He came and me. he died for us. You cannot give what you don't have, brother. Some people standing and mention the name of Christ, they're just doing it in mouth. But inside of them don't have that. So you cannot give what you don't have. And that's why you're getting all these kind of, you know, things going all around. Sometimes, brother, you just listen to people and you say, do these people really know what they're talking about? Sometimes you just think about it, you know, don't say a word, you know, but you're just thinking about it and say, okay, I'll see you. But sometimes there are some of them you have to put it, put it to them straightforward. Hey, you're going the wrong way, man. That's not the right way. That's what the Bible says, and that's what it says, and that's what it says, and we have to go so, not like the way you're thinking about it. The other day, there, I met a guy, and he was telling me that I'm, uh, he don't believe in um, being in church and what other thing like that and what so on. Tell him, man, let me tell you something. You know there is a God. You know Christ died for people. You are his creation, but you don't know him. He said, oh, what do you say? I'm, I don't know. I said, if you had no Christ, you would never say a word like that. <laughs> because what you are doing there right now, I was in that before you. My father was in that, and I was in it. And when I was in the verge of doing big, big, big exploit in the world, that's when God spoke to me. And I tell my brethren, you know, I can't go this way. You know Alexander, you know James, you know Psycho, you know all of them. They are your friends. Ask them about me. Oh, if you meet them, tell them what I did say to them before I leave. And up to this day, I never regret one minute of my life living with God. Hallelujah. Because like every day is sweeter than the day before. Hallelujah. In the Lord. In the Lord. Jesus. Brother, every day is sweeter than the day before. You know, when the enemy comes to attack, the Spirit of the Lord already reveals that to you. You just watch don't talk just watch and when the enemy comes like a flood god raise up a standard against that enemy the battle is not yours the battle is not mine it is the lord's let him fight it. let him fight it hallelujah yeah. and and this call right here is going out to all those who really really you know you're really into your jesus you're really into your jesus man stay in your jesus definitely stay that's what in you your jesus my, my, you know we're in the last last days right now definitely we're in the last last now you know brother, let me tell you something tell me brother <laughs> we are living in a country right now brother when you read the book of daniel and the book of revelation and all the other books and you see what God reveals to Daniel at that time and what is taking place around us these days people must be frightened 
when they see things are happening they say that man is not good that man is not good that man is doing things right that man they cannot because this prophecy that is fulfilling on them one behind the other and at any time that trumpet gonna blow and people don't have that in their mind they think it's just government and men and whatever this is prophecy that are fulfilling on people just like that <laughs> yes every day but they ain't seen it mm -hmm. when you talk to them they're rebelling don't tell me what to do i have my life my money is my god what money all the big buildings they have all this all this what? it will pass away all this is gonna pass away only one thing that will stand what that you don't for the lord whatever you do for christ this is what that will stand but whatever you have in the world that's still right there you can't go nowhere with the money you can't go nowhere with your gold you can't go nowhere with your big boat you can't go nowhere with your big jeep you can't go nowhere with nothing the clothes you buy the kind of shoes the jiggers the whole, that's still right there because the time will come in the twinkling of an eye that shall be changed and you shall put on immortality <laughs> to stand before God. You that cannot stand before God with that flesh you have there. The power of the spirit is too strong. You have to fall on your face. And, and people think that here. flesh, they nourish in that so much as if they don't want even dust to touch on you are dust. Let me tell you something. The only thing that will stand in that last days is those that live for Christ and what you do for the Lord. And if you live your right life according to how God asks you to live, and the trumpet sound in a twinkling of an eye, we shall be changed and shall caught up to meet him in the air. But I tell you, after we caught up to meet him in the air, the Antichrist will come and set up a system, and people will believe that he is God. But in the space of time, that the Antichrist will hit back, and heads will be caught, people shall die, all kinds of different things shall happen to them at that moment. Because the Antichrist will speak against God. And those that want to live for God at that time, if they have to be with Christ, they'll have to find their heads caught. They have to be killed. They have to get all kinds of different problems. But those that are living for Christ, when that time will approach, he said in the twinkle of an eye, they shall be changed and caught up the meeting. My it's better we right now buckle our seat belts. Be strong in the Lord right now and do the right thing put ourselves in tune with Christ put on the whole armor all armor that you be mean? able to stand in the evil days and you do all and you will stand this is the way in the evil days no armor. other way bro yes brother Emory in the building <laughs> no other way <laughs> no other way let's touch that one again brother let's touch that one again my goodness I love the guitar in that one <laughs> Choice Radio, 3 o'clock. Hope you're enjoying the segment. The man say, fasten your seatbelt. From May the 3rd, 7 p.m. Pour Jésus. chante glory pour Jésus. Pour Jésus. Pour Jésus. Pour Jésus. <laughs> I know that guitar. Oh, that piece of guitar does oh, hold man. my brother. Watch that piece of guitar. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That guitar does hold me, boy. Oh what? my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> One more time, brother Emro. You getting ready for his big, 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 big gospel explosion? We gotta get ready for that. Write it down. May the third, 7 p.m. It's gonna be something else. 488 Rockaway. Pitkin and Sutter. More information from right here. Let's take in that one. What is song saying? What is song saying? You sing glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Just yeah. simple as that. Yeah. Cre Creole, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Sing glory out there. If you love Jesus. Hi. <laughs> You're singing glory to the Lord. We are singing glory to the Lord. 
We are singing glory to the Lord Who died on the cross now all for our sin Glory pour Jésus, nous chanter glory pour Jésus. Qui m'en a sous quoi là? Oui, pour pécher nous. Oui, oui. Dino, Dino, Dino. <laughs> Indeed, man. it's a pleasure to have you here, my brother. It's yes, brother, a definitely yes, brother, a pleasure. Yes, brother, yes, brother, Always yes, nice brother. to talk to you, man. And yeah, man. The spirit of the living God is in the building, and definitely. we love the Holy Spirit, ah, man. Always being witness, you know what I mean? All the time. He's worthy to be praised. Sure. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. And um, so, what, what would be your word of encouragement to those out there in the Lord? I mean, well, a word of encouragement like you know what what would you say well i'll say to those that are out there in the lord to hold fast never let go because we are approaching a time now when things are going to be a kind of hectic but those that are in the lord that's where the enemy is trying to really pin them down but let me tell you the bible says, if god be for us who can be against us no weapon that the enemy will form against us it will never prosper so what we have to do as the children of God, just keep our eyes focused on God and live the right life. Let our light shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. And I'm saying to those that have not yet know Christ as their personal Savior, people you are all out there think everything is okay, but it is not okay. Because I'm going to tell you something, if you die without Christ, you lost. Hey! There is a hell to achieve and there is a heaven to achieve. There is a I hell prefer, to shun. There is a hell mm. to shun. Yes. And there is a heaven to achieve. Let me tell you something. Hell, if you don't live for Christ, you will achieve hell. You will achieve it and it will be pain, crying, and all kind of Weeping stuff. And morning and gnashing morning, of teeth. Yeah. Gnashing of teeth. But if you reality. live for Christ, it's reality. It's either you go with Christ or you go down there. Now, God will never lie. God spoke about that hell thing a lot when he was on the earth of Christ. Mm -hmm. Speak about that because he know there is a place preparing for those that didn't obey him. Because he knows what he come to do. And he says those that obey him, they, he shall be in no wise <laughs> cast them okay. out. Uh, uh, let me say this to you, my brother. I, I meet many people that um, say, well, um, oh, well, they believe in God and, you know, they believe in God and stuff, but, you know, they don't must go to no church, but they know they believe in God. Guess what? The Bible says, he that believeth and is baptized shall that's be saved. That's what he says. Why do you think God said it like that? God made us. God know we full of talk. That's right. God know we like to promise people everything. Uh -huh. But we don't do in what we say. Uh -huh. 
So that's why he say, if you believe, mm -hmm. do what I tell you to prove that you believe. That's right. Don't just tell me you believe. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much you believe I'm God. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much you, what you think about the Bible. That's right. The Bible wasn't written to prove nothing to you. Mm -hmm. The Bible is say what it say. say. Whether you believe it or not, no, what it say going to happen, going to happen. Forever. It don't make no difference what you not believe good. about it. That's right. Also, he said, if you believe, you must be baptized. That's and right. then you will be saved. That's right. So if you say you believe in God, God yeah. don't care how much you say you believe. God know how we talk. He, he created us. Yeah. He knows us good. Mm -hmm. So you could give people all kind of talk, all mm -hmm. kind of fancy talk mm -hmm. and say, yes, I believe, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, he mm -hmm. saved me. You mm -hmm. can talk all that you want. Mm -hmm. If you don't do what he tell you, he ain't going to value nothing to God because God knows. Definitely. God knows that we're full of talk. We like to promise people all kind of thing. You meet women, you tell them you love them. How much years you ain't married yet? Up to now. But you keep telling them you love them though. God know us and God know we like to play around and how we mouth sweet. That's why he tell you, when you do what I tell you, I will know if you're on the right track. That Otherwise, is, you could glorify me all you want. You could say you believe in God all mm. you want. You could say God bless you. Mm. Unless you don't accept him as your Lord and Savior, you will perish. That's you know, right. God that's don't care about that, no talk. That's what it is. That's no, what yeah, it is. God don't care about no talk. He tell you to prove. Back up your mouth. Mm -hmm. You believe I am your God. Yeah. You believe I am God. You mm. believe. Yeah, well, mm. do what I tell you. You could, yeah. say, you could talk from night till morning. I don't want to hear you. Mm -hmm. Do what do I what? tell you, and then I will know if you are the if writer, you if you really believe. That's right. That's why, listen, when Christ was on the earth, and John was the, out there preaching, when Christ came to John, and he said, John, I want you to baptize me. John said, oh, no. You're supposed to do that to me. But I am not the one that's supposed to do that. Don't suffer it to be so right now because it is so it will be able to fulfill the kingdom of my father. That's how the kingdom of my father is going to fulfill. That's why I am the first one to do it. I. I am the first one to do it. So he did it first. As so an that, example. As an example so that you and I should follow. follow the example. So Amen. no matter what the person say, if as long as the person don't, don't do follow, what Christ said to do, they, they, will, they will perish. And, that, that, you know, sometimes I'm speaking to certain people and, you know, the Holy Spirit have a way of just feeding you yeah. according to what they need. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, he know what they, they mind thinking and he yeah. will feed you what the right thing to say to them. Mm -hmm. And I mean, many people, sometimes we start talking and they say, oh, well, I believe there is a God, you know, my brother, you might be going to church and all that, but I know God is good. He keep me and this and that. God don't care what you think about him. Mm -hmm. God wants you to do what he tells you. You could talk all you want. You could think all your big ideas. You could have all your education. God don't care about that. Mm -hmm. You could say you believe in him. You could believe, you could believe what you want. Mm -hmm. He said to honor me by my word. If right. you believe me, keep my commandment. That's, right. That's all I care about. I don't yeah. care what you want to say. Because mm -hmm. everybody likes to talk. Mm -hmm. And we talk a good talk. That's right. And even if your father make you, he create you. He know you. If you know me. He know you. That's right. He know you like to have, you have a big mouth. Oh he he know God. your mouth is sweet. Mm -hmm. You like to talk a good talk. I don't mm -hmm. care how much talk you talk. Do what I tell you. And now I'm going to know if you're really trying to line up with me. And that's, that's what God is saying. That so is if, the you're most important in radio, if you're in, out there in Radio Land, you love Jesus, yes. You believe in God, yes. We're not trying to pressure you. We're not trying to condemn you. Because one thing, you know, my brother, mm -hmm. and, and, and a lady told me one time, she said, a guy say, you know, when you're talking to people about Christ, you need to be a little more calm. And, and I'm working on trying to be more calm and be more nice and mm -hmm. be more pleasant to, mm -hmm. in, to be more inviting. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I know what God has put in me. Mm -hmm. I know who God made me. Because mm -hmm. you see, God know who listening to the radio. That's right. God know how many people here preach a preach all kind of soft way. That's right. All kind of loving way. Mm -hmm. All kind of nice way. People come with candy. All mm -hmm. kind of way. Mm -hmm. And you're still not biting. You're still not biting. So God want to make sure that everybody that who could talk to you will talk to you. That's right. That when that day come, there is no blood on his hand. Mm -hmm. Because you know he sent everybody to you. He sent the smooth one. He sent the rough one. Mm -hmm. He sent the hard one. He sent the tall one. He sent the short one. Mm -hmm. And that is the grace of God that you and I have to be thankful. Because since you were young, yeah. God always trying to call you. That's right. To all kind of way. Yeah. Until he went to the extreme. Yep. And he, he called you again. That's right. If you didn't listen, he probably might try to call you another way again. Mm -hmm. But he's been trying from since you're young. That's right. And God is a fear God. Yeah. Because I say, the way God deal with us, my brother, God shows us every example in life that you and I can make the best decision in life. Definitely. I always draw that reference from school. 
you go to school and mm-hmm. see children who are not paying attention to the teacher mm-hmm. and in graduation time you see who graduate is those who pay attention, pay attention. and those who do their work yeah now when you come in life now mm-hmm. it's the same way it's the same way if you don't sow mm-hmm. you're not gonna reap no if you live a certain way there is nothing for you to gain that's right so that's why i say god is a honest and a great and a loving god definitely he try true. everything to make sure his children understand how things work mm-hmm. look at the ants they come out mm-hmm. they put their food away yeah. and when it rain yeah. they stay inside mm-hmm. why little little ants on the ground you see them going mm-hmm. they, they gather it and they bring it back and they bring it back to it he's trying to show you the same way if you prepare and you put things in the right place you're going to have enough definitely to put away you're going to save you have people living every day and they look at people live a certain kind of lifestyle mm-hmm. for 40 years mm-hmm. up to now they have a zero in the zero bank in the they have nothing to show for mm-hmm. nothing and, and people watching them and continue to emulate them and yeah. live just like them yeah. and they see the outcome of their life definitely now what god going to do with you know when you come to god god don't have no time to worry with you god is giving you all the example in every way that's why i say god is a loving god he, he loves us my brother he loves us not willing that because he's trying every how we can by every way mm-hmm. to get to you to say brother this thing i tell you in this book mm-hmm. is gonna be true it's gonna be true. i will try all kind of thing to see how i could get you to understand me mm-hmm. but at the ending mm-hmm. i would not have zero to do my hand gonna be clean That's when right. you come before me i'll play back the tape for you mm-hmm. you yourself go tell me mm-hmm. where hell is which door to hell because when you see the technology now that you're using, you see how you go on your phone now and you see yourself, mm-hmm. you go talk to your mother mm-hmm. back in the island, mm-hmm. she's seen your picture, mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. He say in the last days, I will throw out My on all flesh. flesh yeah. You see all this technology now? Yeah. It's God, what God, telling you, yeah. God is telling you what I have ready for you, you know. That when you come before me, I go pull up my computer and show you that I am the big man. And I go play back <laughs> all your life and show you. I go show you. I go make you listen to every conversation. And my brother, I have the, the, the pleasure of um, seeing a video on YouTube. And probably you guys have computer could go on YouTube. A young girl shot herself. She thought that her, her, her father was getting more attention from her mother than her. So she shot herself with a gun and the gun went off. And she, she said when she fell... When the gun went off, mm. she fell on like a, a flat, like a glass, mm. like a, a screen. Mm. And all over the wall, everywhere, was picture of her life. Like videos. Mm. They just paused and they mm. waited. Mm-hmm. Each one she looked at, mm. the song came from it. Mm-hmm. Like every video she looked at. As she looked at it, the song, mm. what was coming from that video, video, was playing back to her. And she said somebody was looking at her mm. in a distance. Mm-hmm. She just knew somebody was in the room. Mm. She, can, she just sensed the person was there. Mm. And when she looked and she see... She watch a few of them and she realized she hearing exactly what is in the video. Then the video just go and the video just cut off. And she fell back in the room. And she said, she thought about this. And she said, this God is real. This afterlife is real. This thing is not no joke. And now she come out and expose to the world that, you know, this is her experience that she have. That God give her a glimpse to show her how he's getting ready to judge humanity when they come before him. And I totally believe it, my brother. It is true. Let me, let me tell, tell you a little story. When God spoke to me, I was in Martinic at that time. I left Martinic. I come down back home. And I was living by my mother's house. But I was working with some Venezuelan people back. And one day we were there. But all the time, you know, I'm keeping myself a little backward because, you know, the music is in me and, to, to go and live my life for Christ. I, you know, it was a little hard. One day, Friday afternoon, we just finished it on the job and we there laughing. Fellows are giving jokes on whatever kind of thing there. While we there, we laughing, everybody enjoying that. I am in it, we laughing. I mean, young guys mm-hmm, laughing. Mm-hmm. The voice come to me in my eyes and tell him, I tell you to do something and you don't do it. If you don't do it, you will die. I turn around everywhere and see nobody. Nobody around me. So I stay silent. Then another partner of mine, my wife, know him good, Rodney, is telling me. But when a while ago there, you were smiling and now God's saying you're so quiet. What happened? I said to him, man, you know, God already spoke to me about three or four times already. 
And all the time, I'm keeping myself back. But this time, you know what? While we were still laughing, what he says to me? And he said, when? And I said, just a while ago there. He says to me, if I don't do what he says, I'm going to die. Now, Rodney, you know what? Sunday, I'm coming to the church where you are. And give God my life, and that's the end of it. My goodness. So when you say what you say in that, bring memories back to how I get converted. First time God spoke to me, I was in Matnik. I was decomposing some cadence at the time I was. Uh, we had our own band doing cadence in Matnik music. And after I finished, composed the cadence, I said, for so many times I've been there, you know, playing cadence. Let me sing a gospel song by Jim Reese. So I take my guitar and I lie down on my bed. Start singing that song. Where do I go from here? That song. He's lead me to the darkness. And brother, I fell asleep. I don't know nothing again. And you know what? There God came and revealed himself to me in a dream, in a vision. And showed me all what I have to do. Not nobody that come and preach to me. God did it himself. That is why people may talk. The tongue might fell from their mouth to the ground. They may say all kind of things they want to say against that man you see standing there, Brother Emru. No matter how I find myself, I always tell my wife that. I ain't going back. They can offer me whatever they want to offer me big money so that I could be big because of what I can do. I'd rather stay where I am right now and live for God so that when he comes, he'll find me prepared to go to heaven. Hallelujah. Not to go to hell. Hallelujah. I ain't working for hell. I'm working for heaven. Because, you because know God show me what I'm supposed to do. I tell you, not once, not twice, not third, not fourth, not fifth. About seven times already. He's been talking to me in dreams and showing me different signs. So your mind is made up. So I know where I am going. Hear that? No doubt about As it. As you say that, you know, let's, let's touch this one. Hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yes, I know. My God. <laughs> brother nobody gonna stop me from doing what the Lord sent me to do my pastor can tell you that Pastor William I always tell him I am taking position in church you know why if you call me I'm gonna come this is my ministry brother and I'm gonna spread it out wherever God sent me to go and sing and play to glorify his name in this earth and I'm going to do it with all my heart. Brother, I can teach. I can preach. I do all the things in the church. If somebody is not there, I could just do the worship and play together. Both of them. You know. That's the type of my life. But I don't want to be tied up. I know my church. I am the member of my church. But at the same time, I am free. If today I have to come to you, I just tell them, brother, you know I'll not be there. I'll, I'll. Certain brother. When I come there, I didn't come to you. I come to glorify God. Hallelujah. Jesus. I don't come and see what you're wearing, how your church is. That's not what matters. All what is matters is that name of God. Be lifted Jesus. Up. Hallelujah. Jesus. That's what we need. It's Jesus. I, uh, my brother, I, you, you're saying this out there, and you know, may I, I, in, in my short time in Christ, I realize a lot of people who claim to understand Jesus and Jesus called them, they're allowing people to cause them to hold back. Hmm. 
and the commitment to God and to, to Jesus. And everybody, oh, some, because somebody didn't do something a certain way, oh, they don't go to church no more. They're not the, the, God don't care about that. Mm -hmm. If God calls you, he calls you by yourself. Mm -hmm. Do what he tell you to do. That's right. Stand up for him. That's right. He don't, he don't call you on your friend. Mm -mm. He don't call you on nobody else. Mm -mm. So if they want to follow, that's their business. That's right. You just do what God has. Because listen, when it's all over, you have to answer to God by yourself. That's right. Nobody ain't going to be there with you. Mm -hmm. No church ain't going to come and pray for you and mm -hmm. say, oh, well, we support you. No, 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 no. It will be a personal thing for every man to do. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let's, go back. Else. let's go back to that song. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, we know. We know. My beautiful wife is here. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> yes, sir. 22 minutes past the hour, guys. It's fun to be with Brother Emma, man. Yes, I know what I'm working for here. Yeah. Yes, I know what I'm working for here. Yeah. Yes, yes, I know what I'm working for here. Yeah. Yes, yes, I know, I know what I'm working for here. Yeah. You know, no, no, no. Encouraged in Radio Land. Be encouraged. Jesus is Lord. There is an eternal home in glory. Prepared as a bride at a door. You know the Lord will come to take his bride away. I want to be there to glorify his glorious name. For yes, I know <laughs> what I'm working for. Yeah, yes, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My Lord. Oh, Jesus. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> An eternal home in glory. That's what I'm working for, my brother. An everlasting kingdom. Prepare for me in heaven. For I know. You want a piece of that? You want to be there in glory, lad? Yes. My brother, I want to be oh there, man. Brother, brother, I want to be there, brother. I want to be there. You know, when I look at the sea and I look at the sky and I look yeah. at the, all the fruits and the fishes and I say, man, the man who created this thing, I want to be there for Yeah, that. definitely. I want to be there, I man. I want to be there with him. I want to be there, man. Oh, my oh God. Jesus. When you read Proverbs oh, 8, Christ is telling you in Proverbs 8, when God was about to create the earth, he was the one beside him. Holding the line. The plumb line, the sea, the depths. When he was marking 
everything. If you read Proverbs 8, bro, the whole chapter, you will see so much vibes in there. It's not when Christ come as a baby. He was there. He was from the beginning. He was from the beginning with the Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> My God. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Brother Emery in the village until 4 o'clock. Well, it's just a pleasure having you here, my brother. I mean, we need to continue to encourage the yeah. brothers in, in Christ. And because, you know, my brother, with all the, you know, we're having a little fun. Mm -hmm. But really and truly, we are in the last days. Yeah, sure. Yes. And, and, and the Bible said in the last days, men's hearts are going to wax cold. cold. That's true. And it's true. Mm -hmm. You have people now who claim to be in the church, and if they find you talking about too, Jesus too much, mm -hmm. they cannot get a little like. Yeah, kind yeah, of little the, soft, the, the like, you like, know, like, you know, you know it's too much a little God, you know, you know. It, that's not a joke. It is serious. It is not a joke. We are in the last days, my brother. Yeah, so true. Back in the days, the church was called the way. Mm -hmm. Now, like I tell you, you know, you're talking about Jesus. Yeah, people say, yeah, but after they come to church and before you turn, they want to go home. Yeah. They're tired of this. They're enough mm -hmm. of that. They want to time to go and live their life. And this is human being now. This is human being now. They yeah. come to prayer meeting and before you turn, nowadays people don't even go into Bible study. No. People don't even go to prayer meeting. No. Mm -hmm. Sunday they just come and show mm -hmm. up. You see, you know, people think that God is God could be mock. You can mock can, God. Cannot, God cannot. know your heart. He knows. God know what you could do and what you can do. Yes, and you see right. when God knows that's you, always, you, want, you, want to, you want to just come on Sunday and present yourself mm -hmm. and present and make yourself feel well. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, Sunday is just available. I'm not working, so you know, I could just make a little time and go. Um, the Bi the Bible says many surprise in heaven. Yeah. You know what surprise means? Yeah. Surprise a lot of means you, you, you swear to God. No, well, you too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who believe mm -hmm. they're going to make it. That's right. With a kind of attitude, lackadaisical mm -hmm. way they, they want to serve the kingdom. Mm -hmm. A lot of surprise. You say a lot of surprise in, 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 in heaven. And that's a true thing. That's why we want to encourage you if you're in Christ, get yourself grounded. Mm -hmm. Rounded and surrounded in Jesus, mm -hmm. fall in full headlong in Jesus. Amen. Right. Stay there. Amen. Be dedicated. We always tell people go out in the world and tell about Jesus. That's right. Even if you don't walk in, go mm -hmm. out in the school, right. go in the in the in the mall, go on the mm -hmm. bus, go on the train. Tell somebody. All you have to say is Jesus love you. Jesus love you. And if you look, if you ask the Holy Spirit to lead you, He will give you the right word to yeah, say. Definitely. You ask Him, say Holy Spirit, I really, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say, but my intention is right. right. He know your heart. Yeah. He will give you the right word to tell that particular person that they will think about this for the mm -hmm. rest of the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's that how is God, how he works. That's how God's work. Yes. Yeah. If your intention is right, that you see is about the heart. Mm -hmm. If your heart is right with God, mm -hmm. that's what God. God don't care if you can read, mm -hmm. you can write. God don't care about that. He care about your heart. Ah, yeah. If your intention is right mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. I am with you. Yeah. Amen. Right. And that's this right. is what God wants to cultivate among his children. The yes. heart of love. That's right. A heart for Jesus. That's it. A heart to understand the sacrifice he made. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, but all of us could do it. Mm -hmm. We just have to make a dedication. Definitely. It's not nobody trying to put you down and say, okay, mm -hmm. I holy, you do holy. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. We all have the opportunity to strive to be better people for Christ Jesus. Definitely. Once we understand the commitment and we understand the story, we all can make a dedication. That's we right. We all could dig in. That's it. You know what I mean? And, and get so in true, there. So and, no, no, no. We, 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 we could do it. Mm -hmm. So sometimes somebody listening, they say, you know, well, whatever be, whatever they're going through in life they might feel whatever yes we all go through trials definitely we all go through you have to go through it we all go through the situation yeah. but you know what god is saying look i promise you this is just for now mm -hmm. go through this thing but stay with me that's right stay with me definitely. don't go with them mm -hmm. stay with my principle that's right. that's right you don't have to be the most popular one mm -hmm. but stay with, with me. me stay with me and the world know everything about popularity if my church do a 500, mm. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. No, I want a big, big place. Mm. And everybody want to come more money. Mm. But they don't understand. That is the destruction. Mm -hmm. That is the downfall they bring in on the cell. Keep it simple. God will bring you the increase. That's Keep right. it simple. That's right. That's right. Keep That's it right. there. That's Just right. do That's the work right. of the Lord. That's right. He gonna bring the increase yeah, for you. That's what God wanna do. And and it have people. I my wife brought me two CDs. She went to some concert and brought me two CDs. And mm. I tell you, brother Emma, sit down here with the CD and I put it in the computer and I take my time mm. and I put every name mm. to the song because mm. the, the the songs didn't come mm. automatically. Mm. So I had to put them everyone. Mm. And it's a mystic I make without trying it first. Oh. My brother, after I put them thing in this in the computer, and then I go and play the first one before I put it on the on the air. Mm. My brother was I was I wanted to vomit. It was disgusting. <laughs> 
to talk about you, you, you some Christian concert and somebody everything about hand in the air and why you know jump go down low and all kind of thing about nothing about Jesus yet you know I'm thinking what kind of nonsense is this I have two CDs, you know, imagine two mm, CDs, CDs completely. My wife bought it to support. She's mm, support. She mm, went to the mm, concert, so yeah. somebody invited her. Mm. So to show a little support, she yeah. buy two CDs and, you know, bring it for me, mm. you know. And, and, uh, and take me time and put this music. And I'm thinking, this is for God? You're mad. You, you, me go play that. I tell you, everything is, you can go down low. Mm. And, mm. and I'm, I'm thinking, what, where, where, where Jesus is about that? What does this have to do with Jesus? What does this have to do with salvation? Uh, all right, so yeah. you see, mankind now fall back in the world yeah, standard, yeah, yeah. hoping to appease man, mm -hmm. thinking that they're pleasing God. Mm -hmm. And it's a sad commentary, but it's a reality. Yeah, so true. Brother, let me tell you something about that. You see, Brother Emro, I ain't singing nowhere else but inside the book. All my songs, straight from the word of God. That's how I sing. Because I didn't come to present myself. I'm just a tool. And I want God to use that tool to glorify him. So that his name is going to be glorified through me as in his instrument. Instrument of praise. And that's what so that about. when I sing the word, I didn't sing me. I sing God for you. Hallelujah. So and if you take mm -hmm. that word into consideration, you didn't take brother Emro into consideration. You take God in your lives. And this is important. This is the most important thing in life. Mm -hmm. That is all that matters. Any song you hear from Brother M, it is straight from the word of God. Something that you could, you could find in there. Amen. That's how I say it. Amen. Amen. And, and, that, and we're not trying to criticize anybody, but you know, whenever I talk this stuff, it's to wake us up. Yeah, definitely. because there is a spirit that is driving these people in. Mm -hmm. Because some of these people don't not even realize that they're going out of line. You know? No, they don't. They're comfortable yeah. where they are mm -hmm. because a spirit come and take over. But that's right. That's why the Bible tells us to pray. Yeah, pray for these people. Yeah, pray, pray for, for them. one another pray for because it's a spirit that is taking over. That's true. They're doing it, but they're not even aware, aware that they're they doing they're it. Doing, no, yeah. they, they out of the Bible mm -hmm. and not even realize that they're out of the Bible. <laughs> If you understand what I'm saying. Because the spirit that. that is taking over mm -hmm. is masquerading mm -hmm. as an angel of light. That's right. And the Bible tells us that. Mm -hmm. There is a spirit, the devil will come masquerading like an angel of light. Definitely so that. when they feel, they glorifying whoever. And some of them are going to feel probably mm -hmm. they feel anointed. Mm -hmm. But it's what anointing? What anointing? What? Because if there is a Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. there is an unholy Holy spirit. spirit. There is counterfeit money and there is real money. money. That's there is right. good and there is bad. bad. That's right. So there is an opposite to everything in life. That's right. So That's it's right. the fruits that you're bringing forward. Because many times people talk, 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 and there is no transformation. Mm -hmm. If you all, if you're talking all the talk and I'm not mm -hmm. being transformed, nothing happening to nothing me. Happened. It's only when you say Jesus, life can be transformed and Definitely. changed. That's the and main people, people that's what I'm life. telling you. Sometimes you hear people talking about they have to do this and do this to get money and get this and this. My brother, if you just say Jesus enough, the man will put him money in his take his hand and put in his pocket for himself. He will go home in his bank and take his money and bring to you just so without you have to force him and beat him over the head. Mm. The power of God, God is enough. enough. To, to, to make everything. anybody do anything That's once right. you stay on Jesus. But people going away from Jesus. Definitely. They bring two words in the Bible and all the rest is from their mouth. Mm -hmm. And they write down a whole sum and they're just jumping around mm -hmm. whole day talking and stuff. That don't have no power. It's only the word of God that have the power to transform man. That's, That's right. why he say, lift me up, me. Just lift me up. This is all and about I you. will draw men. You don't mm -hmm. do nothing else. Mm -hmm. Just keep saying Jesus. I will do the rest. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Just do what I say, live away, and I will bring them back to me. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Just do what I say, live the life of me, and I will draw them back to me. <laughs> Brother Ero, well, every time you come here, you just light up this place, Everybody. and it's definitely a pleasure having you. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you have this concert coming up that people can come and experience a true mood of worship with the live, mm -hmm. live instrument. I love the live instrument, man. Yeah. I love to hear you picking on that I guitar, boy. Yeah. My goodness. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ooh, you 
in the name of Jesus. Guys, we hope that you're enjoying, you know, the, the little exchange. I'm very happy when my brother come here because I know that he come with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. He I come here yes, and what we're preaching is Jesus. Jesus. No name. Jesus. We know what he did for us. Definitely. And I know. we know Jesus, my brother. And we know he's real. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that from the bottom of my heart. That Jesus is Lord. He is Lord. He is all powerful. And he can keep his children too. Brother. <laughs> May I share a little thing with you? Share it now. Okay. I was working in that hotel. Halcyon back down home. Another time. The chief secret. I was doing security. And the chief security was. Trying to. Um, put me out in a kind of way. Just for nonsense. Because of the way I was reacting with people out there. You know, the tourists, the people, they always like me. And the word was going out. And they just say, only one good security in the place. Because that man have a nice face. He's always smiling. He's quiet. He's nice. And the rest walking like soldiers going to battle and whatever. Things like that. And they were trying to fight me. And you know what? When I am off. In the night, them fellas gathering together and they talking about how they will take me to personal to destroy me. And you know what? The spirit of the Lord taking me from my home and I'm standing in the midst of them hearing everything, every bit of what they are saying against me. And in the morning when I wake up, I call my mother, tell mom, so and so person, so and so person, so and so person, so and so person said that last night I was in the midst of them in the hotel and they were trying to put me down. But I win them because they could not pass. And as soon as I wake up in the morning, as soon as I reach by the gate, first thing, the same person that was there talking, ah, this morning you go in the person, I say, yeah, because last night you said so and so and so. so. <laughs> Putting them straight forward. How you know that? I say I was in the midst of you all when you was talking. Hallelujah. I ain't living for the world. I'm living for God. And whatever you all trying against me, I'll be there listening, hearing you all. I know all those that are for me and all those that are against me. You all can't do nothing. You all can't do me nothing. He was shocked. Shocked. And when I go to personnel, for true, the chief taking me to personnel. And as soon as I read the fence, don't say, what were you all bringing this man there for? This man haven't done anything wrong. You're going to get nothing wrong. But I'm going to go back to your work. All the time. So I know my God is real, brother. Once you see you living for God, no weapon that the enemy is trying to form against you. It will not prosper. God is there. He's there to reveal everything to you and to know who are your enemies. Hallelujah. Don't think that is joke. Don't think that oh, is you have man. to go and see Obama man like people seeing go and see Obama man for Obia man or all, all, all voodoo all these crap things. This is that's that's a waste of time, yeah. But when you have God on your side, no demon in hell cannot pass. You Hallelujah. know where you stand, you stand on solid ground. Solid rock. Hallelujah. Solid ground. Solid rock. Because Christ is God and God is real. Hallelujah. And he's everywhere at the same time. Hallelujah. And that's, you know, that's the same way we have to keep encouraging whatever we could say to encourage the body of Christ. Yeah, definitely. To stand up for righteousness. Stand up for righteousness. Stand up for, stand up for Jesus. Yeah. Don't care what it look like. Yeah. Stand up with stand Jesus. Stand up. Don't care what it feel. I know Don't, about Yes. I know about Stay with that. My brother, I tell you, man, the, the, the testimony you're giving there. You see. I mean, me and my wife have some million testimony too, so I tell you what. I mean, we see. You see when somebody mm -hmm. say things against brother Emro. My wife is in front of you. She knows that. The same day they do or say anything against Brother Emerald, the same night God giving me a, a new song. <laughs> if I was singing on that level, when I heard that, I'm singing on that level. He keep lifting you up. My God, like he's like they're pushing something like um, I, I don't know how to say it. like a double extra power coming inside of me 
and I'm just about to burst. You know what Christ said? If you know in your heart that you are not wrong in anything they are saying against you, glorify him. And when I'm no, I did, I'm not wrong. I know I am right. I'm doing the right thing, and you saying your thing. You know what? That brings some flesh on my skin. <laughs> Bringing some, you know. And my voice get even more powerful. And then the finger come electrified <laughs> on that string. Yes. And I play more. I can sing more. And don't think I can't move too. I can't move. If you see, I have a uh, um, cordless thing on my guitar mm -hmm. so that I could walk around and play and move. And, like, why not I do it for myself? I'm lifting up my God because every word that you see, I sing or you hear I sing is from the Bible. And singing me. Who am I? Just flesh. <laughs> uh, I'm uh, only singing mm, Christ. Hallelujah. When you hear it, you hear about Christ. And if you grabbed it, you didn't grab Brother Emro. You grab Christ. And if you have Christ, you have everything. Hmm. Mm. More from the Bad Emerald. Let us deny every filthiness. Let us deny every worldly loss. Let us keep our eye lead on the Almighty God. And He will direct all our path now. Satan is like a rowing lion Seeking about whom he may devour But the Lord is there just to guide us That he might grant unto us more power Be not conform to this world But be transformed by the renewing of your mind That it may prove what is that good, yeah And acceptable And perfect will of God that call ever Yes, Woo! Jesus, Hallelujah. Lord, glory to the name of the God of the light. God of good afternoon. Yeah, I'm still basking and enjoying. Mm -mm. That is so good. Where can I get those music? Well, the man is right here in the building. We're going to give out his number. And you can call him up and get your copy. Amen? I do appreciate that. I mean, I'm, oh my Lord, my soul is like, <laughs> it's <laughs> unspeakable. <laughs> Just enjoying the goodness of God. Hallelujah. He's Glory awesome. God. He's awesome. Keep on, keep on enjoying the Lord. Yes, Amen. Sister, thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> bye. My brother is exciting to be around <laughs> you every time you come. It's just an anointing in the studio. Extra. Yeah. Well, inside there is always charged. Yes. Yeah. You know, the studio is always charged, charged. with the Holy Spirit. That's definitely. one thing. I mean, you know, Church Radio. Mm. And we definitely thank God for His presence that is right mm. here. I mean, sometimes mm. the Holy Spirit is so strong that you can't stop talking. talking like He just, yeah. He yeah. just pouring out. And, yeah, and, and we know. And, mm. and my brother, you know, God is real, man. And we just want people to understand that we need to not be conformed to the things of the world. Definitely. You, you, when you come into Christ, he said, you'll renew your mind. Definitely. Be transformed by the renewing. You, know, you must mind. have to know this is a new kingdom. It's a new time. It's a new things. Mm -hmm. And God has given us the power for us to say, no, that's not God. That's, that's God. God. 
That's right. We go in here. He give us the power to do it. Definitely. Many times we feel that well, oh, we gotta, we can't do it. No, he give you the power to select and know what is and of choose, me choose. and what is not me. That's right. Make up your mind and what God is doing. God bless what we do. That's right. He bless the action because he give you the power to Definitely. make the right action. He mm -hmm. give you the power to make the right choice. That's and right. say, well, no for this, yes, yes for, for that. that. Yeah. yeah, God ain't forcing you to mm -hmm. do, do, do this. He give you the power to select, well, I will do this. I'm not going to do that. Okay. This is not God. I'm not. That's what it is. That's so some people sit down and they're waiting for, well, oh, well, I'm just doing that and in God. No, mm -hmm. God give you the power to do what it is. He say, if your hand cause you, cut it off. Mm -hmm. If your eye cause it off, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is, he give you the power to make the decision. Mm -hmm. And to do what is right unto him. That's right. And when you're doing it, he's going to bless, bless you. what you're doing. That's right. Because you know you're doing him. That's right. So many times we sit back and we say, well, oh, you're watching people and you feel people, these people. Are. No, you can't worry about people. Mm -mm. You got to keep projecting forward. That's right. Keep going to the mark of the higher calling. You mm -hmm. got to keep going on as a believer. Yeah. You yeah. can't sit back because I'm telling you, I say this too many times, but it's true. Many people I've encountered who say they were Christian or who say they're Christian and you don't see them doing nothing Christian oriented. And they will tell you, oh, I've been a Christian for years. Mm -hmm. I never know. <laughs> a secret Christian. Yeah, a secret it's service. Not, it's, it's yeah, not, it's if you're a Christian, you can't you can be hiding. Not, really a Christian not. is a Christian. You stand up for Jesus anyway, anyhow, anytime. Let people know I am a child of God. You know why you can't that be is what it's about. because you are the light of the world. You should be the light of the world. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. But you can you can choose to put your switch on, or, switch on, or yeah. put it off. off. Yeah. You have the light, yeah. but you don't have to put it on. Mm -hmm. But he wants us to put the light on. That's right. He said, if you have a light, will you put it hide it on a bushel? Mm -hmm. No. No. You're gonna put it on a stand that that light will illuminate. Yes, yeah, definitely. So that those that are after of me see that light and come to that light. Yes, and and, and, and people sometimes they hear you talking and they, they will be jealous mm -hmm. because they find oh you this and it is. But it's not it's for everybody. It's for everybody. He give everybody the power. Yeah. He say whosoever yeah. I give you power oh. to become sons of God. Oh, that's right. So if you want to become a son do what he tell you to do definitely and you're going to become a son you don't I have to be just, jealous of nobody mm, you don't mm. have to think like this and this no he give you the power submit unto god resist the devil mm, and he's going to mm, flee mm. that you are able to shine for god mm -hmm. and this is what we're projecting that's why choice radio we're talking on that level mm -hmm. we all can do it we all have a role to play in the kingdom that's everybody right. have a different role to play mm -hmm. nobody is going against each other that's you right. do your part all that's for the glory of god. god we all have different people that's you it. have your voice you sing a certain way mm -hmm. another person sing a certain, certain way Way. You yeah. sing a certain way, right. all to glorify God. That's it. And each one have the potential right. to touch the right person. Definitely. Because you could sing or you could sing, and mm. certain people would not be moved by it. Mm. Then another singer sing, mm. and they and move, move by it. Because it. God make all of us that we can impact the world. That's because right. everybody is different. That's right. So we all have a role to play in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. We have to just stand up, turn on our light, and let the world see us. Not so Definitely, that's what God boy, wants from man. us. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, man, I tell you, whenever you come here, we just lighting up, but we're getting ready for the May the third. You still yes, have a, a yeah. couple a couple you have a few you have a while still, you know. Yeah. You have a while still, but yeah. I say you you want yeah. to launch it early. Let yeah. them know yeah. early. Early everybody know what's going on there. <laughs> they get in the western, they get in the compa, they get in the reggae, they mm -hmm. get in the blues, My they goodness. get in the soul, My gospel, My everything. Just name it, ask it. When you all come there, I don't stay quiet. Ah, brother bro, we want this, brother bro, we want that song, brother bro, we want that. just ask. <laughs> and it shall be given. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, nine more minutes before four o'clock. Brother Emro inside the Choice Radio, man. It's always a pleasure having you here. So, and we we have some.
Glory be to God. And lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, yeah. And he shall direct all your path. Transformed by the renewing of your mind That you may prove what is that good, yeah And acceptable And perfect we love God that God help us Ah, oh, Brother Emerald All your heart, all your heart, eh? all, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, yeah, and he shall direct all your path, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord Jesus. God. He's worthy, you know, man. Oh, and he's worthy to he's be worthy praised. To be what an awesome God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a day. Yeah. Oh, my. Ta- my brother, that's going to be a day, you know, man. My, my oh. brother, when that trumpet song Listen. and that sky open. My oh, brother, are my you taking that for you? Uh, I don't think you're talking hey. about My God. Yeah. Of kings, kings, lots of lots lot of mediator God. between God, God and man. El Shaddai, hallelujah, Lord my, Shalom, Jehovah Child, Arab, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Nishiom, Lord God Almighty, King of the universe. My brother, my God, when that cloud open, <laughs> my brother, they say streets of gold. You know, mm? I believe every word, every word, I believe. Every yeah. single word. There is nothing wrong with nothing. But what up? The walls of the city is Jasper, 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 Jasper. Hey! <laughs> Ooh. I have a song there. Oh Lord, hear my cry. Oh Lord, hear my cry. Oh Lord, hear my cry. Let me see if I find that one. I think it's the last song on that album. Oh Lord, hear my cry. You have it? Oh Lord, hear my Number 15, oh, 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 Talk to them a little bit in the meantime, brother. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Lord, hear my cry. Oh, Lord, hear my cry. Yeah. Oh, Lord, hear my cry. Oh, Lord, hear my cry. Yeah, because, you know, these songs are from my heart. Because we as God's people, when we see our family out there in this world, they don't know Christ as their personal savior. When you go down on your knees and you pray, you're always asking God to help them. So you, we are talking to God in that song. Say, oh Lord, hear my cry. The time is approaching for you to take your children home. You prepare us a city where we will never, never, never go home. It's a soul song. It's a soul. I mean, people don't really understand that, but it's what you feel inside of you for your family, for your friends, for your loved ones out there. When you've seen people out in the street, people everywhere, and they are doing just any kind of thing without Christ. This, as a child of God, you're supposed to have something inside you. Like, it's like a pain because you know where you're going to. You know where you are heading to. And these people out there, they don't know that they are heading to destruction. God is telling us, talk, call upon him. Pray, ask him. So that he could deliver this people. All this God is doing for us. 
Hallelujah. Yeah, and, and, and you know, my brother, what I say, as you're talking about your family members and people that you love, and to know that they're going to go to this hell, it's not easy. It's not but, easy. But, but you know, the thing about it is, we're trying to tell people, look, until you make up your mind to, to forget about your ideas and let God have your heart. That's it. Love him from your heart. Believe him from your heart. Mm -hmm. Not from just your, your mouth mm -hmm. and people just talking. No. Mm -hmm. Make up your mind to seek him. That's right. Because he is going to prove himself to you. That's right. That when definitely. you come to Christ, he's going to show you, look, this thing is real. It's real. This thing is not no joke. Lean not unto your own understanding, mm -hmm. but in all your ways. Acknowledge, acknowledge him, him through his great and works. And look at the great. sky. Look at the sea. Mm -hmm. Look at the, who created it. So you have to come to Christ looking at him in that kind of way. Yeah. Knowing that he is big. Mm -hmm. And he's bigger than anything. So when we look at God in that way, we're able to get more revelation. Because if you look at God like, like every other thing, mm -hmm. you will never see the, the, the concept mm -hmm. or, or the prospects mm -hmm. of he being able to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Because you're watching him as every other thing. Mm -hmm. I always say that to myself. I always, don't care what is going on, I try to draw back and look at water. Look at what, who could make that? <laughs> who could create this kind of thing? Who? You, then you have to analyze. You come to God in that kind of way knowing that we are fragile. Mm -hmm. We are like flowers. With all the big mouth you're making now, two minutes they could call me and tell me, brother, Emery will just fall like a fly. 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 With fly. all the noise yeah. you make, all the jump around, mm -hmm. all the song. Mm -hmm. We must understand life in that way. <laughs> Forget about it. You ain't that big. No. We are not that only big. Only one big man there. Only one big man there is. Only God. And we have to always stay in that place mm -hmm. where we could humble ourselves Before and him. know there is somebody bigger. bigger. And anytime you go beyond that, mm -hmm. you lose you up. Lose up. You, lose you must up. stay lose low, 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 low and look at how fragile. You know, among the people die already with all the big money, yeah. all the big name. Mm -hmm. Where they know? Where Michael Jackson? Where all these guys? Hey. With all the big money there. We don't know. We That's must right. come to God in that kind of way. That's, That's why right. he say, those who diligently seek him going to find him. Yep. Right. Look for me. That's right. Look for me, you're going to find That's him. That's right. And That's once right. we seek him, we're going to find him. Definitely. But we want to tell people that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. That's it. And we all go through trials and tribulation in life that will kind of deteriorate you and make you kind of waver and make you wonder if God is there. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Continue to believe in him. Continue to look at him as God, the creator of heaven and earth. Forget about everything around you. Stay with him. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's looking for. He's looking for people who will testify of him. That's what he Don't wants. care what's going on. That's why he calls Still us. stay with him. Don't care what look right, like if it's mm -hmm. right. Forget about them. That's right. That's what I tell a young singer the other day. I say, look, my sister, forget about all who buying CDs and all who jumping around and all who like this song. You just keep doing your thing for Jesus just, um, and he's going to bring the increase. Forget about that. That's right. People who have to buy all your CDs. Mm -hmm. Just know that your heart is right, right. for Jesus yes. Christ. That's and it. your intention is to glorify him. Yeah. Forget about all this worldly thing. Yeah. Or oh, everybody come and buy how much you're jumping around and wave your flag to the left and all this thing. And you feel they're getting a lot of support. Forget about that. Stay and just keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your Brother, focus on Jesus. But I'm telling you for true. A lot of people feel is when people are doing all this kind of thing. They are on the right track. But you should know as a children of God, we are in a battle. We are in a fight. The enemy don't want to see the word of God spread. All what he's trying to do is to establish his own thing because he's the God of the world. And he sees that when God call you out from there, like he's losing clients, and he wants to get you back to that place where he was before, so you have to continue in God all the time. Do the right thing. Live the life. Let your light shine before men. Do what God called you to do. Sing your songs. Praise your praise. Walk your walk. Be a light. Do your testimony. Share what you have to share for people. Live no matter what they say. Because if God be for you, who can be against you? Hallelujah. And he said, not by might, not by power, but, but by nice. my spirit. spirit maintain that spirit. Don't That's care right. what's going on. Maintain mm. that spirit of mm. God. Maintain it. And I'm, I'm always saying, 
if you don't feel that you you are you are you are representing or you have something to represent go deeper and ask him to reveal himself to you and give you that revelation knowledge that you know without a shadow of a doubt that Jesus is Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why we keep telling you, you must stay grounded in the word of God. Grounded you must stay grounded in the Bible. The That's it. Forget mm -hmm. about places where people just jumping around. You need the Bible. You need That's to right. see what the you Bible is saying. You need, you need the word. Because it's only the word of God that could make the transformation. People could give you inspiration, mm -hmm. but that's not enough. Mm -hmm. After you've been inspired, you need to be taught. Yeah. How do I use this word mm. to balance my life? Mm. How do I stabilize myself in Christ? It's through the word of God. That's right. That's so right. it, it has some churches where it's just inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yes, I inspire you to mm -hmm. take God. But after you get inspired, now you want to be taught. Yeah, you now you need to know how to use this manual. Mm. How do I drive this car? You, you show me the car mm. on, the, uh, on the display. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Now I buy it. Mm -hmm. I want to drive. I want to drive. And this is what people have to understand. You must be grounded and rooted in the word of God. That's and right. God will continue to establish and give you more. That's and right. more revelation. If Every you're day. using what he gives you, he's going to give you more. more. And it's true. That's true. Because, my brother, the more you read the Bible, every day you get a bun. He just load up some stuff in your head. You know? brother, let me tell you people something. could tell you what they want. You know, <laughs> you know what God's put in your head. You could tell me what you want. Right, I don't right. care what pastor you is. I don't care what you call yourself. Yeah. I just know mm. what God conformed with me. That's right. So the more you seek him, is the more you will find him. That's right. He's a fear God. Yeah. He's a just God. Mm. He's a loving God. Because yesterday I was telling my wife, you know what? God just give me a brand new song. Let me play it for you, my wife. I take my box again and I just sing the song. Just like that. I was studying. And while I was studying, every music just come to the world. I just did it and I sing it for my wife. I say, you know, see that? That's how I just do it. Whenever the Spirit tells me to do it, just do it. And the Spirit is alive and well. Alive and well. Alive and well. And, and brother, will... let, me, mm -hmm. let me tell you. When I tell you a bad piece of bread, <laughs> <laughs> that have guitar in that poem in my like fire. Goodness. Mm -mm. And I just sing it for my wife. I say, my wife, you know what? You let us give God praise. <laughs> <laughs> The, and That's the, why the, a lot of see, people don't understand uh, brother. No, no, no. The Holy Spirit is what we have to depend on. That's it. Any idea you need in your life mm -hmm. to make money, to mm -hmm. do whatever, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit giving you a tons of ideas, you know. Yeah. It's not one, you know. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit not limited, you know. Mm -hmm. He giving you a million things, you know. That's why we tell people you need to stay and mm -hmm. bask in the Holy Spirit. That's right. Acknowledge him because mm -hmm. he said, I will send you the comforter. Mm -hmm. And he's with you right now. All the time. We don't care what you're going through. Mm -hmm. You sit down and talk to that spirit. Yeah. People could think you're mad. Yeah. That's the business. They mm -hmm. could think you're mad. Mm -hmm. They could but, think you're mad. Yeah. Talk to him. Mm -hmm. He give you a million ideas. Yes, yeah. A million ways mm -hmm. of, of handling situations. That's right. And this is the God we serve. This, this is the God we serve. Awesome, my brother. Awesome, awesome, awesome. My brother, awesome, before we awesome. go, we're going to pray. I want you to pray for the listeners out there. Before we pray this song, I mm -hmm. want you to just pray for anybody that's listening mm -hmm. that don't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. I want you to pray that. Oh, praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, oh God. Father, I just pray that those that are listening to our voice right now as we are in the studio, oh God, praying, oh God meditating about you basking in your beautiful words oh god your songs oh god we lift up your name oh god and your name you need to be glorified all around this earth right now because the world need you more than ever my god i pray for those that are listening to my voice right now my god that you're going to touch these people oh god speak to their hearts oh god remove the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh oh god that your words may find roots inside their hearts oh god they might have the understanding of your word oh god Oh God, and they'll realize, oh God, they are heading to a major way, oh God, where they will lose everything. But Father, you see, you're not willing that any should perish, but oh God, that all should come to repentance, my God. While they have the breath of life, oh God, they have the strength to walk, oh God. Oh my Lord, I just pray at this moment, oh God, that you're going to touch these people wherever they are that are listening to our voice right now. I pray, oh God, that you will touch their hearts, oh God. Oh Jesus. Let them know that you are real, O oh God, that you are alive, you are well, and you are willing with a stretch arm out, O oh God, that you would set them free from all captivities, all bondage, my God, right now. Father, you know, as I'm praying right now, you know, 
all immaculating spirit, all stronghold spirit, all demon spirit, my God. Sin to the minds right now. Don't listen to this. These people are not right. But God, you know that we are your child. You call us out from darkness to your great and marvelous light. And whatever we've been saying right now, we're saying according to your word, oh God, because you say pray for them. But I pray right now that you break every yoke, my God. Because you said the anointing will break down every yoke, every immaculating spirit, every stronghold spirit, every warden spirit, oh my God. I just pray, my Jesus, that you will touch them, talk to their hearts, oh God. Release them from every iniquity, everything they have been doing that is wrong against you, oh God. Let them think in their hearts right now, oh God. If that brother can come on the radio station and pray for us that are out there, those that are on drugs, those that are drinking, oh God, those that are on any different kind of things, oh God, that are not pleasing you, you know that, my God. I just pray, Father, that you touch them. Talk to them, oh God. Show them the way. Deliver them from every situation they are like, God. Bring them to know you before it's ever too late because we are approaching the ending of time, my God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, oh God, you release them from every situation they have on their ways. Let them know you, oh God. Bring them in a place of repentance, my God, that they're going to co come to you and talk, oh God, and ask you for forgiveness, oh God, that you may forgive them and release their life from the bondage of iniquity that they might come to know you before it's ever too late. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for every listener, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that we have exalted your name, that Hallelujah. your children will join unto you by your spirit, God. Hallelujah. Father, we take no credit for this because we know it's only because of you and your spirit we are able to talk that way and, and exalt that way, God. Father, we pray for humble hearts, Hallelujah. open minds and open spirit, God, Hallelujah. that your people who are called by your name will not condemn that Lord but they will rise up and do what you have called them to do. They're going to be Jesus. all that you have called them to be God. Oh, no. Father we pray for strong people to rise I up know. Know. And, and, and be the children that you have called them to be God. Oh, God. Stand up. Let no man Hallelujah. look down on them but Jesus. God let them stand up with what you have placed oh, inside of them Lord God Lord. and allow that seed to grow into a big tree oh, God Lord that is going to God. cover a multitude of people almighty God. Father we thank you for choice radio god we thank Hallelujah. you that you have opened this way god Hallelujah. that your people who are called will hear you god jesus. and will stand up and defend your gospel Hallelujah. we thank you jesus for all that you have done all that you have accomplished in this segment through the power of your holy spirit we just thank you jesus because you are worthy your name is the only name Hallelujah. that is given unto man whereby man can be saved jesus. and we Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Yes, my brother. So yes, let's go God. back to this one here now. As we have the song.
Said I want more time I cry. been a nice it's nice ride yeah, yeah. yeah we, sure. we we gone way past four o'clock yeah. normally we sign up at four o'clock yeah, but definitely. it's just a beautiful um feeling in the studio and uh, we, we thank you for coming by and always you know you know bringing your 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 light mm-hmm. your light to, to yeah. you you bring in your your light come on little, come on little, come okay little. yeah yeah you always <laughs> come on and bring that light yeah, sure. And yeah, we we you know the thing about we we gotta stay active in the things of God. Definitely, definitely. What I always tell people is that the more you tell people about Jesus, mm-hmm. it come back to you. Yes, sure. And remind you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, many you know, being a Christian is not a 
a passive. Mm -hmm. You just get saved and you just mm -hmm. saved. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Being being saved is an active thing. Definitely. You have That's to stay active in the things all of the time, God. All the time. All the time. So he said, my word will never return Until void. Yeah. So that means the more you send out the word, the it comes back get, to you. Yeah, you the more you send it out, the more it mm -hmm. comes back. Exactly. The more you send it, the more it comes back. back. The more you live a certain way, the more that same it's thing it's come back, back to you yeah. and keep you active as a, a child of God. Definitely. So that is the idea. You have to stay in Christ. You have to keep doing things for the kingdom. You got to keep lifting up Jesus. And you will always be energized Definitely. he will always lift you to a new mm. standard because you are staying in him Amen. he said abide in me and i will abide, abide in, in you. you so many christians get cold because they just go to church on a sunday mm. and all during the week they don't even read the bible mm. they don't do nothing christ-like mm. they don't tell nobody about jesus they go to work i meet many people you and when you tell them oh i'm in christ they say hey, you mm. just come mm, just come and I never know they was in Christ. Mm. They never tell me about Jesus. Mm. I'm not saying everybody who everybody, in Christ yeah, should right. tell me, mm -hmm. but the way they were living, mm -hmm. I never know they had never, Christ in them. Right, you could have right. never know they was Christian. Mm -hmm. and, and this is, uh, is what it is supposed to mm -hmm. be. If we are children of God, we should let people know no. that I am a, a child, child of God. God. I'm right. a child of the King. That's, that's right. it. That's it. That's it. I'm a the child of God, line. and that's the bottom line. The bottom I don't line. talk that way. I don't do this. I don't listen <laughs> to that. I don't do that. We let them know. Mm -hmm. So they have something to look up to, or they have something to look to evaluate Definitely their life from. and that life that they can want to get what we have. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Yeah. <laughs> so, my brother, so we're getting ready for this date, yeah. May the 3rd. And, mm -hmm. and I know it's going to be something that we all out there mm -hmm. could, could guarantee would mm -hmm. be a lifter upper Definitely. for our Christian work with that's really right, energy. Right. Jesus to what God praise the Lord. Yeah. Live music. Live music. My life. Goodness. Life. 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 Man. I don't want if somebody wants to come with a CD and put it, that's them. <laughs> but me, everything life. 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 My goodness. It's gonna be something else. Ah, brother. I know it's gonna be something else, my brother. Because you're gonna shine the bright light of Christ. Bright light. Amen. Yeah. So we thank God for the time and we'll continue to inform the, the crew. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So all the best, my brother. Yeah, you and take good care, brother. I love you. I love yeah. you too, my yeah. brother, in Jesus' name. And we love everybody. Else, yeah, you man. know, we love everybody. We love everybody People will love you out there. You know that. We love you because when you have Christ in you, Christ put a kind of love inside of you for every human being. No matter how you are, we love you. We're praying for you all, for prime ministers, for government, for world leaders, for everyone we have. This is our job because we love you. Now, at the same time, he tell us to warn you. Because right now we are your watchman. And he said, if the watchman didn't want the people, he will require the people's blood upon the watchman's head. But if the watchman warned them and they didn't take heed to what he says, he will require the people's blood upon their own heads. So that is why we have to warn you and tell you what is right and what is wrong. And if you take the right thing, then you will be with the Lord. If you take the wrong thing, if you lose, you don't have to blame us. Your blood is not on our hands. Amen. And clean from that. Hallelujah. Glory be to All God. Right, hey guys, it's been our pleasure being with you today. We thank you. All those who pray for Choice Radio, man, we thank you. Keep praying for us that we are able to lift up Jesus. Amen. And whenever we think of something in life, we have to find out, is it of God? Am I, why am I thinking negative about this? Why am I thinking about this? Why am I feeling this way? We have to make sure we continue to project Christ in our life. With all we do, we need to, to, to definitely resist the devil and strive to be in Christ Jesus. Amen, guys? So we love you in the name of Jesus. Let me remind you once again of the Hebron Evangelical Church. They are getting ready for 33 years of service celebrating they have the annual concert and that is next week saturday so we will continue to encourage you to support them and show them a little love saturday april the 5th all right adults 20 dollars children 10 dollars and um you know it's a taking place at 741 remsen avenue all right for more information on tickets 347-615-3459 once again tickets 347-615-3459. That is for tickets for the Hebron. Hebron Evangelical Church. And that location is 741 Remsen Avenue. That's where the concert will be held. That is next week, Saturday. All right? 6 p.m. sharp in the evening. 
So it's going to be nice. Go out and support your brethren. And as children of Christ, we have to have that kind of mindset, brother. Yeah, definitely, that definitely. once is of Jesus, yes. we want to be a part of it. Definitely. But yeah, if it's not it Jesus, we have to let them know that we're not taking part that's in that right. no more. Definitely. You better get your act right. Yeah. Otherwise, we're not going to support that. Yeah. You know, that's what children of God are supposed to stand up and let mm -hmm. people know that we know the standard. Mm -hmm. We know the requirement. Yeah, because we're not, go we're not going to settle for nothing below the grade. Mm. That is how God is going to be glorified. Yeah. When his children will stand up and say, nah, that's not I'm my going father. For that. That's but not but my I'm father. For that. I'm going for this year. This is Jesus. Hallelujah. So we give praise and the Almighty amen, amen, God. Amen, amen. And we thank everybody. Emery Wife, you want to say hi to anybody out there? For the Emery Wife. I never hear you talk yet. You just talk? <laughs> I'll just uh, play. Come and say hi. The, the two wives in the studio. A lot of wives come and make a little, a little conversation because wives is God say you know any any man have a good a wife is from uh, a good, good evening. thing. How are you doing, mommy? I'm good. Emerald? I'm good. I'm Chinese. How, how it is to be married to to to, to a musician man out there like this? Oh, it's great. It's, it's great. Yeah. Every time you want to sing a new song for you. Yeah. Every time he <laughs> sings for me. Amen. Yep. He makes me happy. He makes you happy. Oh yeah. Amen. L let me ask you as a woman, in, in, you know, I must talk a little bit like this because we have a lot of people listening and we always have to try to be a light in some kind of way to help people to get used to certain things. Uh -huh. The Bible talk about submitting to your husband uh -huh. as unto God. How it is to, to submit to your husband? How it is? Well, we, it was to submit to our husband, we have to do the right thing. Whatever you are, you know, we have to be, we have to be there for him. You know, we have to be we have to be like the, we have to be behind him 100% to support him in everything he's doing, not half and half. Because when you're married, you're one. We are together, it's one flesh. Well, if, it's something, if something hurts him, he hurt, it hurts me too. That's how, it, that's how it is. And that's how it's supposed to that's be. That's how it's supposed to be as husband and wife. Any problems we have, it has to stay there. Nobody else have to know. That's between us. Wow. We have to solve it ourselves. That's our business. That's how it's supposed to be. No interfering. Anybody that interferes in marriage life, that's not good. Let us solve our own problem. Let us see our own fault wherever we're going around. This is, the, this is how marriage is supposed to be. So you don't, you don't involve nobody outside no. in your marriage life. No, not the You work it out. You know you're wrong, you admit you're you wrong. You admit you're wrong. We work it out. That's how it's supposed to be. And you keep it moving. And you keep moving. Because if you're serving God, you know what? You know the right thing to do when you're married. And rough times will come. Obviously, rough time will come. Because we, in, in time rough time come, we, we, we are ready for it. Because the light, the road, is not, it's not an easy road. It's a rough road. There's two roads. There's the narrow road. Well, you'd expect these things will come. But you stay with Jesus. You what stay he with said. Jesus. Because he's the one in control. You pray to him. He is the one guiding us. Some people say marriage is not an easy It's a sweet life. It's the way you handle marriage. It's the way you go with it. If you involve people here and there, here and there, it's not good. You have to solve your own problem. The two of you are alone. And yes. stay with stay with, and stay stay with, with it. him. Yep. Because you see what I always look at, getting married, there was something there that made you married to that person. Mm -hmm. So why all of a sudden that thing is not there no more? You saw something in the person, that's why you wanted to be married. It, that's so obvious. there is something to defend about that person. Amen? That's right. But I mean, any, 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 I mean as husband well, and wife, you know, because... What you say there is so true, you know. Because I'm a, when you're married, it is a covenant between you, the wife, and God. And he said, no, let nobody interfere in between these things. That's what God said. Because you all are one. That is why you leave your mother's and your father's house and join to a wife. So you become one flesh. So if she hurts, I hurt. Mm -hmm. If I hurt, she hurts. Mm -hmm. Anything wrong? Let us go on our knees. Go before God. That's right. If we don't understand it, ask Him to make us understand everything mm -hmm. better, clearer, and how to go with it. God is a good God. He says His eyes always on His children to answer the cry whenever they call on Him. Mm -hmm. So, we are not the loser. We're supposed to be the winner. Mm -hmm. 
all the time. Because if God is on our side, then we are the winner people. We are not the loser. So, so definitely. Mm -hmm. so, 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 Brother Emro, really, uh, so what are you encouraging husbands? Because sometimes, you know, according to how things come up, people feel, well, there's no way we could, we could just go by what God says. No way. I have to answer back. I have to go back. I have to, you know, I can't do this. I have to do what, what is your advice when, when certain situations come Any, and you just feel? Anytime you see people are saying these kind of things, you have to answer that kind of way. It's because they don't know Christ. They don't know God. They don't know reality. They don't know the foundation of what it means to be married. Mm -hmm. If you know what it means to be married, this is your wife. You will never want anybody to say anything against your wife. Mm -hmm. Now, your wife will not want anybody to say anything against the husband. So the two of you will have to go before God, down on your knees, if it's two days or a week or a month, you will have to take to cry before God to make these things right. Mm -hmm. Make it right before God. Because when you speak to God, there is nobody that can say, you say, she say, he say. It's you and God It's alone. you and God and the wife alone. Amen. Because, you know, my brother, you know, um, they, we're talking about this and we're just going again. Because, you know, <laughs> I see that one of the biggest problems for women and my wife is right there. And, and before my wife come to the point of really accepting what the Lord said in the Bible, wife submit to your husband. We have a lot of different arguments, different things that well, she feels, you know, whatever, whatever. But until we came to that totally understanding that what God say mm -hmm. is what he want. That's what he wants. If I say the man is the king, mm -hmm. you submit to him. Mm -hmm. Do it. That's and right. then God is going to prove to you that I will make everything work. <laughs> and right. now we come to that point. But I'm mm. saying I'm still realize that a lot of women, yeah, yeah. it's hard for them to understand that this mm. is what God say. And they have to submit to the husband and it's bad. Let me tell you something. In the Caribbean, it is how you say it. Women humble before the husband. Mm -hmm. And they know man is the head. But in America, it's a different thing. Now, you see copycat, that's not right. And I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. And that is what the women are doing and the men are doing. It's both women and men, you know, they're doing that. They're conforming to the they're world. They're conforming to what they found up here. And forgetting where they come from, how it was. But I ain't going to forget mine. I know how it is. The fighting stay inside of me. The crying stay inside right that day. The tears stay inside that day. Everything right there. Everything right there. Until we solve it. That's right. That's what it's supposed to be. So whatever gone, because I mean and this is this is this is what we, we're trying to get out because the family have power in Jesus Christ. That's where you have your power, together. brother. That's where when you have they it. stay together, you have a power overflowing. Nobody can interfere with that. Nobody Christian can family. interfere there. A Christian family, nobody can mm -mm. touch them. No. no when way. you stay in Christ, nobody can interfere with mm -hmm. that. But you must obey God. You must right. obey. Her wife must submit to the husband according to God because that is how God can work in this situation. Definitely, but that's many right. people don't want to they don't want to hear that. They mm. want to have their way. No. And it is not right. It's not right. And it would not work. It would mm. nothing it would never, never work your way. Work. Oh, that's problem. Yes, because you see, God is hoping that by your good example, mm -hmm. he can walk through you yeah. to shine like the other person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. So as much as we get to open that conversation, mm -hmm. to talk about that, to say it, to hammer it home, that the wife could understand, according to the Bible principle. And there is another thing again. Sometimes, the wife did not want to humble. Sometimes, the husband did not want to humble. If my wife come and say, Emro, you know certain, 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 certain things, it's not because I am a man and I'm the king and she come with something that is right for me to disagree with what she said that is right. I have to agree with the right thing. But at the same time, she must not think because you say that and I agree with it, you are the king. I am the king of the house. <laughs> you have to obey the king. But at the same time, if you come with anything that is right, I have to you will listen to yeah, That's thing. right. Because we, we are one. Now, some women don't want to do that at all. Some men, whatever they do, it might be wrong. They don't want to receive correction. It is both ways. 
But in the Caribbean, it is different. In our Caribbean countries, these are different. When a woman married with her husband, all what you'll hear the woman say, me, before I do anything, I have to consult with my husband. Mm -hmm. But hey, I'm doing my own thing. Whatever she, he wants to do, he do, or whatever she. Mm -hmm. That's not right in the eyes of God. Right. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Nope. It will never it will work. Never like work. That. Never, work, never work like that. No. We have to keep it the way that God says. Keep say. it the way that God mm -hmm. says. Because God knows us, my brother. Yeah. When you, you, you get the revelation of what God is saying, God knows that men like to be exalted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows men like to feel that they're big. Mm -hmm. That is why they tell the woman, stay quiet. Mm -hmm. Let his voice be loud. He like that. And he tell the man, love the woman. Because he knows women like to be loved. So God perfect. He knows how we are. Brother, <laughs> it's not easy for me to lift up my voice. I don't like it. If something troubles my wife and she comes and she cries, I don't answer. No. When she got calm mm -hmm. and we talk talking, then I put it to her. Mm -hmm. So when because two fire can't be, you know, you can't put gas on fire. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. When she comes with her fire, then I take the water. I cut it down. And throw it. And mm -hmm. throw the water on it. That's right. And when she calmed down now, I put it to her. You come and you tell her, you know what you did. That mm -hmm. is that and that and that. All right. This is how it is. And that is supposed to be like that. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. How long you guys been married? S seven years now. Seven, seven years. Yeah. June will be seven years. June, June seven. Twenty third will be seven years. And it's a, being married is nice. It's anointed. Eh? It's nice. You, feel, what you feel on, on on the wedding day? You feel a special anointing. Yeah? Definitely, that's how it is. You feel the presence of God. Yeah. It's an experience to experience, you know. Mm hmm Everyone just shaking here. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to be married. It's nice to be married. Yeah. Wonderful. It's it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Okay, Amen. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I, I thank you guys for sharing this, like I said, and because we know we have we know who is listening. God knows who is listening why yeah. we strike certain conversation because mm -hmm. he wants his children to enjoy the best of life. Mm -hmm. And if he, he ordained marriage is no way he will want marriage to be contentious. No. Or right. to be something unstable yeah. or something that yeah, make yeah. a man feel confused or condemned. Mm -hmm. no. we, we have to be there for mm. each other. Yeah, that's if how. we are not there for each other, we have to be there no matter what the case may be. If he is not working, we have to, he has to cover me. If I'm not working, he covers me. That's how it is. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. We've got to be there. This is why we're together. He got my back. I got his back. Don't care what. No matter what the case may be, I have his back. That's how it is. Any final word, Brother Emro? Well, what I can say to the people that are hearing me right now, there, you all know Brother Emro. A lot of people know Brother Emro. A lot know the name, but they don't know who is Brother Emro. But I just want to tell you all, on the 3rd of May, if you come to a pickings between Sorter, 488, Rockaway between Pickings and Sorter, gospel light you'll see brother Emro. you'll hear him life direct all the electrified <laughs> fingers all the voice all the movement you'll see life but nothing like pushing seats just life <laughs> and you're gonna hear music and we are there on from seven until something to twelve music. no ten o'clock eleven to twelve concert Amen. <laughs> Thank you guys. Just come and support them. Man. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Keep reminding them. Amen. Mm -hmm. All guys, all the best. All right. Yeah, man. Amen. Amen.
Shine. 